YouTube, YouTube, what is good? What is Gucci? What is Louis? What is Prada? We are back for another episode of Marv's Room. Thank you guys, as always, for joining me wherever you're at in the world. To the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, let's get right into it today, man. Start off the week great. Start off the week on a positive note. Start off the week knowing that you are the prize. I want you guys to never, ever forget you are the motherfucking prize because today's video is about things that I see with this SP stuff going on. And I'm just like, yo, so many of you guys don't understand you are the prize. You are the prize. Not them. Love is not over there. Love is right here. Love is inside of you. Love and happiness is a choice. Choose that shit. Choose that shit. And with a lot of this SP stuff I see, you know, everybody has their own thing. I don't knock nobody for doing whatever they want to do. You know, you're not going to hear me bash, you know, other coaches. Um, you're not going to hear me bash, you know, some of the practices that people are trying because I understand that everyone has their place. Every Everybody has something to bring to the table. You know, everyone has stuff that works for them. You know, everything doesn't work for everyone. So do whatever works for you. Do whatever resonates for you. But a huge problem I see personally with a lot of this SP stuff is, is you guys are not putting yourself first. If you guys are constantly affirming things like my SP is constantly texting me. My SP is constantly thinking about me. My SP constantly wants me. My SP constantly adores me. Why is my SP always chasing me? Why is my SP always phoning me? You know, why is my why am, am I always on my SP's mind? I mean, I could go down the line on and on and on and on all the way down the line. But I want you guys to understand this. If you're affirming that, but you can't even look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. That is a problem. That is a huge problem. And I think so many people are running from that. They think, oh, I don't have to do that part. This is a huge problem. If you can sit here and affirm all of these affirmations about your SP, but you can't look in the mirror or not even look in the mirror. You can't lay in your bed or just sit by yourself and say, man, I am worthy. Why am I so worthy? Why does, you know, why, why am I so loved? I'm cherished. I'm irreplaceable. I matter. I'm important. You can say my SP is chasing me. My SP is constantly texting me. Why is my SP constantly texting me? My SP wants to think about me. Why is my SP, you know, adore me? Why is my SP's eyes only for me and no one else? You know, why does my SP chase me all the time? Like, you can affirm that, but you can't say that you are irreplaceable, that you matter, that you are secure without anyone. Listen, guys, understand this quick fix shit. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. Your self-concept, your self-love should be number one priority over everything. You should not be prioritizing. My SP is constantly texting me. My SP constantly wants to see me. My, you should not be, in my humble opinion, because I see a lot of this going around and or I hear about it rather. You know, when I when I'm in certain groups and I see certain people post in certain groups and they say certain affirmations or whatever the case may be. And I just think to myself, wow, like you really still think love is over there. You really think you need that person's attention to validate your 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 being, your existence. Basically, my SP constantly misses me. My SP is constantly thinking of me, you know. Where's the self-love and all of that? Especially when you don't have any self-love and self-concept. And then so many of you guys wonder why you get your SP back and then you lose them again. 
you know, it's because your self-concept sucks. You should be work. Your self-concept alone, I want you to understand, your self-concept alone will bring to you anything you want in your life and it will allow you to keep it. If you just strictly work on self-love and your self-concept, knowing I am worthy, I am love, I am always first best, I matter tremendously, I am extremely irreplaceable, I am highly desired, you know, forgiving your past, Working on that, you know, these things are what's going to get you results. You guys, so many people, you don't understand what these kind of affirmations you're doing without facing yourself, without falling in love with yourself, without healing your past. You guys are continuously putting an icing on a rotten cake. Me personally, I never did any of those manifest those those affirmation manifestation techniques saying things like my SP constantly thinks about me, my SP wants me, my SP is uh, whatever, constantly calling. Why is my SP constantly calling? Like I never did of those affirmations trying to get because those affirmations are showing that you're trying to get, that you really have no self-worth. All you want is your SP. You would rather get your SP back than to fall in love with yourself. Again, that's a problem. Because you're looking at yourself, you don't think you're shit. You're looking in the mirror and you don't really care about yourself. You care more about your SP. Your SP's up here and your self-concept and your self-worth is still down here. That's a problem. That's a major problem, man. And I'm trying to get you guys to understand, like, I understand you want your SP back, but you can't want your SP back more than you want to fall in love with yourself. You can't want your SP back more than you want to heal. Because you guys continuously, like I said, you put icing on a rotten cake. And until you get this point, like, I understand, like, there's quick fixes out there. I understand you guys don't feel like you're running out of time and you don't want to lose your SP. But understand, this stuff is not, it's not going to last. It's not, and I, and I know some of these coaches out here tell you, oh, you don't need self-love. You don't need, they're right. But understand, you're probably going to lose that shit again because you haven't dealt with your codependency issues. You haven't dealt with your trauma issues. You haven't dealt with your dad left you when you were a kid and that traumatized you for the rest of your life. That first very real relationship you had with a person um, when you were in high school, when you were in college, that left a bad taste in your mouth. So now you're traumatized about you know men or women. You guys have to deal with these 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 pains, these traumas in your life. You can't just cover that shit up with an affirmation. Oh, my SP loves me. Oh, my SP constantly chasing me. Oh, my XP constantly texting me. You can't just cover that shit up. You can't. That's like putting a Band-Aid over a bullet wound. Literally, that's like what that's doing. Like you're getting, you got shot right here. You got shot right here. You got shot in your head. You got shot in your stomach. And then you guys want to take, oh, my SP is constantly thinking about me. Ba put a Band-Aid over that bullet wound on your head. What the hell is that going to do? That's not going to do nothing. You know, you got shot right here. Now you want to take another Band-Aid. Oh, my SP is constantly texting me and try to cover that wound up. No. Then you got shot right here in your heart. And then you want to take a take another Band-Aid and say, oh, my SP is, 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 is constantly missing me. Why is he constantly thinking about me? And then try to cover that, that wound up. No. You got shot in the heart. You can't fix that with no band-aid wound, with no band-aid, you know, bandage. You got you need surgery for that shit. You need to fix that shit with surgery. That band-aid, and you guys are looking for this band-aid love. You guys are looking for this band-aid, you know, whatever. And it's just like, yo, I just want to get y'all to understand, like, you are first best. You are the prize. The prize isn't over there. You were the prize. You know, like. So I want to give you guys some encouragement this week and for the rest of your life, for the rest of this year, because the new year is coming up. Understand you are what matters. You are the prize, not them, not them. And I'm not telling you to not do these affirmations, you know, about, you know, oh, my SP is doing. But what I'm telling you is work on you first. Work on your self-concept first. Work on your self-love. Why are you trying? Why do you want your SP to chase you? When you have bullet, when you have a bullet wound in your heart, but you want to affirm my SP, you're dying inside. You're literally dying inside. You got shot in the heart. You got shot in the head because of what happened to you when you were younger. You know, obviously these are metaphorically speaking, but you got shot in your heart. You got shot in your head. You got blood dripping out everywhere. And I'm sorry if this is graphic for people, but 
I'm trying to illustrate to you the, the importance of, of what you guys are doing wrong. You got shot. You have all of these problems going on inside. Of you. you got blood leaking out of you. And all you want to do, you're literally dying on your way to the hospital. And you want to affirm my SP is constantly thinking about me. My SP constantly loves me. Wow. You, you got like you guys see what I'm saying? Like you're literally on the way to the hospital. Like you're just your life force is getting sucked out of you. You're literally on your deathbed and you're all you want to affirm is my SP loves me. My SP constantly texts me. My SP constantly calls me. My SP always wants me. It's like, yo, why don't y'all just go heal? Why don't y'all just why, why are y'all so afraid to heal? Why are y'all afraid to take the time to have the patience to heal? We all know the turtle wins the race. We I said that too many times. The turtle wins the race. Why are y'all afraid to get stitches? To actually go get the surgery, to repair the heart, to actually go through the procedure, the medical procedure, to get better, to get the proper fluids back in your body, to heal the right way. Like, I don't understand why so many people are afraid to heal the right way. You guys want this microwave shit, like I said a million times in my videos. You want this microwave. Oh, I want my SP to come back tomorrow. Not realizing if your SP did come back tomorrow, you still would not be ready. Nine times out of 10, you would still not be ready. That's the reality most of you don't want to face. That's why time is extremely a blessing because most of you guys are not ready to get your SP back. You're not ready for a relationship because you, again, haven't healed those bullet wounds. And you're trying to cover up those bullet wounds with my SP misses me affirmations. It's not going to work. You're just going to bleed out. I wanted to come to here. You come, excuse me. I wanted to come to you guys today with this super real message. To understand, you are the prize, not them. You are the prize. Love yourself. Work on your self concept. Heal your past. That alone is going to get you what you want. Not realizing, not needing anything is what is going to attract everything. I'll say that again. Realizing, not needing anything is what is going to attract everything. That's how the universe works. When you realize you don't need nothing, that literally attracts everything to you. When you stop worrying about getting that apology. Oh, I want my apology. My SP is apologized. You know, my SP wants, listen, get rid of that. Because that's what's, the, the fact that you need that so much, that's why you're not getting the apology. The fact that you need your SP so much, that's why you don't, because that, that energy you're giving off. You're giving off that energy of you don't have something. The moment you let go of that need to receive that apology or to receive this or receive that, that's when it's going to show up. That's when it's going to show up when you really do let that go. All right. Like I said, I just want to jump in real quick, man, and, and help you guys kind of, you know, give you a wake up call, pep talk, kicking the ass, whatever you want to call it to let you know, like, yo, own this week, own the rest of this year so you can go into the new year with a new mindset. You know what I mean? And understand you are the prize. You are the prize. All right, guys, I just want to jump on here real quick. Another episode. Thank you for rocking with me again. I'll see you guys next time. You know where, you know when.